Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee, SNS Storm Chasers, meteorologist Joe weatherlongisland.com, and we've got another brutally hot day. We had uh, temperatures uh, yesterday in the mid to upper 90s. We had uh, heat indices that were running uh, between 110 and 115, which is just uh, almost, uh, I, I can't even comprehend that, to tell you the truth. It really felt like southern Florida throughout much of the northeast and mid-Atlantic states yesterday with temperatures uh, in the mid to upper 90s and dew points that were running in the middle to upper 70s. So just absolutely amazing. And the result last night was some severe weather that occurred from uh, parts of eastern Pennsylvania and northern New Jersey uh, into the Hudson Valley and southern New England. There were some absolutely terrific lightning displays. Uh, they were just amazing uh, of some of the thunderstorms that occurred. And what was a little unusual yesterday was that the thunderstorms, instead of occurring during the mid or late afternoon, actually waited till after 6 o'clock to start forming. And the both of them happened through the evening hours up until about midnight. So that was a little different. So we have a marginal risk. The Storm Prediction Center has actually expanded this area somewhat, covering uh, the northern half of New Jersey. Um, looks along, mainly along and north of Route 78. Much of Pennsylvania is in it. Uh, all of southern New England, all of the Hudson Valley to about New York City. Long Island is not included in this, uh, nor is it, uh, uh, extreme southeastern New England uh, down near Cape Cod. But there's a pretty large area of marginal risk, and this is kind of what we had yesterday, which wound up getting upgraded in the evening hours. Uh, to a slight risk, and uh, I, I can't imagine why it wouldn't happen again in the same way. I just want to show you, by the way, with these respect to weather models, they're really kind of useless because uh, they uh, each model is at a different place with all this, and 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 they all wind up uh, being relatively uh, wrong yesterday. So this is the H triple R, which shows some thunderstorms actually moving. Uh, out of uh, southeastern New England, and it doesn't really show too much happening back uh, where it indicates the marginal risk area is. So uh, uh, I'm just showing you because I really, I, I think the best approach in all this is just to know that there's the risk there and not really focus on any particular model because they just don't seem to work in these types of instances. Here's the, the NAM 4 kilometer model, uh, which uh, as we uh, roll this along, uh, going into tonight, I mean, it just has a couple of cells. It has an, next to nothing developing uh, through all of this. And, and, you know, sometimes that happens. Uh, you, you, you see the atmosphere ripe with thunderstorms uh, or should be ripe for some thunderstorm development, and it doesn't occur. Um, so we'll see how this plays out. There will be a little bit of relief Monday and Tuesday for much of the Northeast, and that, but still temperatures will be uh, getting quite warm. I want to just really quick uh, take a look at the what's going to happen for this coming week, and we'll look at the GFS model um, going into tomorrow. Here's that. Here's a little bit of a weather front that comes on through here, and we have, you know, we're talking slightly lower humidities, but there's still um, another warm front that sets up for Tuesday with some showers and uh, brings uh, some showers through here in the afternoon and evening. Uh, I think Tuesday will probably be in the 80s because there'll be more clouds around and that threat for showers. And then we're just kind of back into the tropical air, although I'm not thinking, I'm, no, I'm not seeing a setup for extreme heat again uh, through the middle part of the week and the latter part of the week. We may be fighting more clouds and occasional showers and thunderstorms, and that'll keep temperatures in the 80s. Um, maybe as we go into even next weekend, it doesn't look especially hot at this point. So we'll see what happens. It's sort of a a high that builds up into New England, according to the GFS, and creates a bit of an onshore flow, um, and that's really about it. So it, it's fairly fairly uneventful other than the day-to-day -day stuff. Want to just quickly check on the tropics. So we have the, uh, looking at the satellite this morning, uh, we just have, again, just weak waves, so one uh, over Florida, another one in the Central Caribbean. And, of course, you have this upper low that's been pounding Louisiana with the very heavy rains. That seems to be shifting westward now. And uh, when we look in the tropical Atlantic, there really isn't too much happening. So um, tropics remain very quiet. And based on the long-range guidance, they may remain quiet for an, at least another week or so. No tropical storm development is forecast. So have a great Sunday. Try and stay cool. Severe weather. Follow it on SNS Storm Chasers and meteorologist Joe for all the latest information.